This is not a remnant of a melted glacier. It's an artificial water reservoir, the shape of which is reminiscent of a Buddhist sanctuary, a stupa made of ice. The idea was conceived by Sonam Wangchuk, an engineer from Ladakh in northwestern India. Now cones are shapes which have minimal surface area for the volume, so the sun cannot melt it as quickly as it does horizontal flat ice. And therefore it melts slowly as the summer approaches, and as it melts, it gives its water to the farmers. Ladakh is famous for the world's highest altitude cold desert. In a region which gets only between 50 to 100 millimeters of rainfall annually, the glaciers have been a life source for ages. They provide water for the cities and for the farmers as well. But due to climate change, almost 20% of the glaciers in the area have been lost in the last 50 years. Although the glaciers melt during summertime, there is still water scarcity during certain months. What many people don't understand for farmers, the challenge of water is only in springtime, April, May, which is when they need water and which is when the glaciers are still not warm enough up there. That means they don't melt. A wooden scaffold serves as a skeleton for the ice stupa. In winter, scarce melt water from the mountains is transported in underground pipes to lower regions. Due to the difference in pressure, it shoots up all by itself. And the minus 20 air will extract the heat in the water, and then it falls down and freezes in the shape of a cone. And the beauty is that you don't need machines or pumps or electricity or fuels or pollution, none of that. It's all gravity, simple pipes. It's summer now. This stupa is five months old, built by the inhabitants of a nearby village. Originally, it held over 15 million liters of water. About 50,000 liters melt daily. With the water flowing from the ice stupa, the village in the valley has enough water available for the timely irrigation of the fields. Sonam Wanchuk is co-founder of the students' educational and cultural movement, Sekmol because the young people will one day have a say in the fate of the region, they need to know how the stupas help the farmers. You could theoretically see a However, in the long run, artificial glaciers are only a makeshift solution. Ice stupas are not just a method of making water, but it is also a message from the mountain people to the people in big cities of the world, it is equally important that you in the big cities do everything to mitigate climate change and change your lifestyle. So my message is that please live simply in the big cities of the world so that we in the mountains can simply live. There are now about 25 ice stupas in the region. To create them, it needed just a leap of the imagination. What's needed now is change on a global scale.